Babsbonian Vang brings to you Queen of the Ring Panic Room 2 Rain versus K Prophet Panic Room 2, baby. You already know what it is. I'm on that card. It's going down November 10th. You know what I'm saying? You already know who it is. Your girl Rain. Real Talk Rain. Red Pen Rain. Cocaine Rain. Whatever you want to call it. Young Oprah, this rap shit. I will be on deck November 10th. It's me versus Profit. It's going to be a good fucking battle. She already knows I fuck with you, Profit. But let me just address other people talking about I don't got bars. Let me tell you something. I'm cut from a totally different cloth than everybody in the Queen of the Ring. The only chick in the Queen of the Ring that's cut from the same cloth as me is Babs. So salute the Babs, you know what I'm saying? But I came up with real spitters, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that y'all don't spit, but it's a different it's a different type of element I'm bringing to the ring. It's that real talk shit. It's some lyricism. It's bars. I don't, you know, I'm not a punchline rapper, but I throw them punchlines in there. You know what I'm saying? That real, real talk, that grown woman bars. So if you're going to start seeing girls doing that real talk shit, just know where they got it from. From. You know what I'm saying? The boss chick. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my boss chicks out there too. It's going down. Oh yeah, also call me 100K Rain. Because my battle did 100K in a month. You feel me? Me versus Profit. Profit, you already know I rock with you. But it's not going to be a walk in the park. Plus your ass been sitting out for a minute. I know you sitting on some bars. But you better come with your best shit. Do not sleep on me. Please don't sleep on me. Because real, real talk, you're not better than me, kid. You're not better than me. So you already know what it is, boss chick ring. That's what it is. We out of here. Queen of the ring. Rep the brand all day. And the throne to Queen of the ring. You already know what it is. K-Prop the Chosen One. 40th side representing. DHF member. Queen of the ring spitter. I mean, it's been a minute since y'all seen me. But I am back. I will be on the card. All those that want to know who I'm battling. Battling Drizzle. I mean, my bad. Rain. Red pin rain, battle talk rain, cocaine, stain rain, whatever you want to call her, battle the rain. She fucks with rain, rain's a cool person, she's not fucking with me, you dig? But um, I definitely dig the confidence, you feel me? I know a lot of people probably like, yo, like, what, what's that about? Like, why would they put y'all together, you feel me? I, I, that battle with matrimony, how I feel about it personally, I feel she edged her, but I ain't feel she killed her. And all that shit she was talking, you were supposed to kill her, but you didn't. So if you didn't kill matrimony, you can't kill Farrah. But you was on Twitter talking about that too. What at all makes you think you can kill me? You feel me? I got my stripes, I put in my work, and now we all see what one battle make a female fit. But it's alright though, you know, that's why they call me Propane Prophet. I come to blow bitches up, you dig me? They get all blown up, and I pop that bubble ASAP. That's what I do, you feel me? No cockiness, no none of that. My boss speak for themselves. Feel me? I'm the messenger, I'm the prophet, so I never steer y'all the wrong way. Y'all already know what it is. K Prop the Chosen One will be catching a body. Rain, I fuck with you, baby girl, but you ain't never, never in your career step in front of a prophet. And you about to right now. Dig me? Panic Room 2, Queen of the Ring, DHF. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my SSR nigga, show some respect. You already know what it is. K Prop, man. The Chosen One. I like Y'all already know who it is. I ain't gotta introduce myself, but I am. It's your girl, Miss Fucking Funeral. And I'm back in the building November 10th. Panic Room 2. Me, starring you. I ain't gonna talk too much, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let the best man win. Good luck to you, my guy. But I'm back, and it feels good to be fucking back. I'm out here. Yo, what's good? You already know what your girl matrimony, aka Maggie Hurst, put in the casket first. We out here getting ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for the panic room 2 November 10th. Make sure y'all there. Make sure y'all see what's going down. Matrimony versus this funeral. Bars, 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 bars. You already know what it is. Misfit versus Dana Ashley. Misfit Murder Gang 
Panic Room 2, Misfit vs. C ass. I'm here, you know, I'm already at the frame, baby. At the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Y'all see me? I'm already about to kill a bitch in this ring. Imagine what I'ma do on lip. Y'all should feel me, you heard? Go that. We in the ring, like, what's up? Y'all see who it is? Shayna Ashley. We out here. Queen of the Ring Panic Room 2 is going down November 10th. Now y'all know who my next victim is. It's a misfit, murder ass. She's dead. Um, y'all ain't seen me in a year. Y'all know what happened with my last case. You know what I'm saying? And then she wasn't, she wasn't really ready for it. But this next one decided to, you know what I'm saying, take this bullet, so she gonna get that one to the head. Um yeah, that's all I gotta say. I don't really, I don't wanna talk much. I got so much shit that I wanna say, but I'ma save it for that ring. And y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. It's, it's really not gonna be the same Shayna Ashley I seen before. My last battles. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, yeah, know what it is, but you only get better with time. And it's been a year, so y'all already know. That mom. And first ever three way battle Royal Rumble. It's your girl Hazzy, aka Hazardous Truth. The time has finally come. Yes, I am in the ring. What's good? It's your girl, Precise the Assassin, the real official, authentic assassin, repping at DMV all day, every day. Yo, it's Miss Miami. Chicks take shots, but they miss Miami. Coming out of Queens. And guess what? November 10th, Panic Room 2. Basically, I'm in the first ever Royal Rumble. And I'm here to talk to y'all about Queen of the Rings Panic Room 2 event. It's going down November 10th and 11th. It's going to be a three-way battle royale. Me against two other bodies. Because I'm catching two damn bodies at the same damn time. So I would name them, but it doesn't even matter. Real shit, um, I'm going to kill them. Three-way battle between me, Hazzy, and Miss Miami. So you already know I'll be catching that body. It's gonna be a 2-0 type battle. The assassin is back with a full clip. So I hope they come with their A game because I'm bringing that work. I promise you, November 10th is a fucking problem. Like, I'm coming in killing bitches. I don't give a fuck. It took me too long to get here. So I can't stress or emphasize enough that I'm back. Fuck what anybody gotta say, fuck the haters. I'm back and I'm strapped. Y'all make sure y'all beat it. Y'all don't wanna miss this. It's a historic moment. Queen of the ring, rep that brand. Everybody who's sleeping on me, it's time for y'all to wake up. Cause I ain't going nowhere. I'm in that ring and I'm coming for that spot. And uh, yeah, rep the brand. See, I'm repping the brand. Shout out to uh, Vague, Depot, and Babs for giving me this opportunity, and I will see y'all November the 10th, Panic Room 2. TV, boy Vic, Mr. Grind season, I'm here. Baz Bunny, first lady of the streets, queen of the ring, dot TV. You already know what it is. It's the panic room. Give it up for the ladies! We're about to get into this crazy battle. Jada Ray versus Couture. Y'all been waiting for this. Let's go. To the motherfucking right. What's up, this is Jada Ray, that nine dime, and we about to see who the joke on. Yeah. And tell me to laugh. Let's finish your girl, Katoa. Follow me at Katoa 401. This shit's only gonna take a motherfucking minute. It's time to flip the coin, but I don't never got a coin, so if somebody could just give me a quarter or something to flip. Right, ready? Heads. Head in the bed. Heads it is. Shh. 
Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Now this bitch is gonna say that I need more than props to beat her. Well, I ain't bring no props today, Jay. I brought that motherfucking ether. So if you ask my crew, will I lose? All you hear is nines. Cause they know how I do, even brave hearts bruise the way I spit these bars. Jada Ray came to play, looking like a fucking bouquet. <laughs> but this shit ain't no fucking game. See, I've been aggravated, pissed off, ready to blow somebody's shit off every time I heard your fucking name. You're a clown, bitch. All right. Ain't no nigga fucking with this. Cause I'll give Jay the business. Woo! We bang bash, they'll call me Dame Dash. Cause I gave Jay the business. So I hope Jada got a will. Cause I'ma do this bitch ill. Grab the Smith, whip her hair back and forth till I find them thoughts spill. When I put Jade in that casket, I don't wanna hear none of y'all weeping willows over this little basket. Yeah. Even that death stitch on her. Then hop in a cab to Bel Air. But y'all gonna know I was there. I'm leaving my fresh prints on. You're fucking with a. You're fucking with a boss bitch. I snap my fingers and enforce shit. So if you wanna act cute and talk slick, this little shine you got, I turn it off quick. I do Jada Ray like Lisa Ray. She'll be back in that players club shaking the ass for her feet today. See this like you got? I take it away. You understand me, bitch? I'm Stevie J. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 you know why I send you, right? Back to that sparring session. Cause you lack creativity, cause your bars are in question. This is your second time in the ring and as far as progression, you still perfect the usual. And you'll never master your style, cause the real bitch who holds the blueprint to it is Farrah Funeral. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, still her, you still her style, little nigga. Right. You out here doing shit real foul, little nigga. But acting like Manolo, you can say hello to my little friend and leave here with a scar on your face now, little nigga. Uh. <laughs> See, Debo got you gassed. Cause you ain't pay your dues to be in this lane. You got here on the easy path. What you confused? He wanted to up the views. Figured he used your sleazy ass. Oh. Oh. August 7th, Queen of the Ring Radio. Jada called in to discuss her game plan and how she was coming for this win. I said this bitch about to talk shit. I better tune in. But I cannot believe the shit that I was hearing when Debo said, fuck the bars, Jada, tell me what you're wearing. And this bimbo laughed it off without even caring. <laughs> now your first battle was a joke. Body whispered all three rounds, so how the fuck did you choke? Your second battle, split pee, clapped and snapped, spit so much crap that the crowd mistook your metaphors for real rap. <laughs> now Lady E was gonna put your head up on that mantle. I told her, don't worry, this is light work I can handle. Yeah. You made this card, so you're nice in the ring, huh, girl? But since you have to show your ass, you should switch speed, switch leads, go to URL and be a ring card, girl. Right. And speaking of URL, I'm already sick of battling bitches, all emotional as hell. You two the main one, always PMSing. Posting, mentioning, sub fucking tweeting. <laughs> now we face to face gangsta, so where's the action? So all that shit that you were speaking. <laughs> Round one, this was an unfair beating. Round three, with all you bitches, I'ma have a meeting. It only took me a minute. <laughs> Some motherfucking <laughs> <get> bitch. <laughs> Round two, we gonna expose this little nigga. Oh. Oh. Bitch, 
one with Vagisil, all the products from under her cabinet. She ain't have to spit real boss. You only took that dub because it was a fat Miss Pack was a pack of shit. <laughs>
but it was all some weak shit. Jay's is not who people think she is. She on a sneak tip, and if you got the time, I could blow your mind, put you on to some deep shit. Oh. Y'all know I'm not one to leak shit, but watch her face. I'm about to expose Jay the secret. Now this might get confusing, but I need y'all to follow. Cause just like me, you won't look at Jada the same way tomorrow. <laughs> Sharavia Latrell Smith. Why'd you switch up? I mean, real shit, Latrell, little nigga. Why'd you switch up? Y'all watch how I play Picasso and paint y'all this picture. Your father's name is Curtis Moses. He has a daughter named Keisha Monique. That's his oldest. You were supposed to be his junior. But your mom got her little princess despite the fact you was born with a little tumor. <laughs> now the doctor said you was way too young to try and get rid of it. So your parents would fuss and fight every night till they turned into some bigger shit. But you turned out to be a good kid, one who followed all the rules. But when the teacher said, for my boys and girls line, the trail stood in the middle, confused. <laughs> he got picked on, called names, the bullying got crazier. It was time to switch schools, exit out the trail. Shavavia. Now let's fast forward a few years to when shit got shady up. See, being a girl was amazing up. She was getting noticed. Niggas even started dating up. All them little boy tendencies started to leave her. She started singing and dancing, wanting to be a diva. Rocking heels and dresses, no more Jordan sneakers. She would hop online, meet dudes, try and converse them. Using looks and personality, she thought she could jerk them. She could trick them over the phone, but couldn't trick them in person. See, Kiara told me about that time when you got your ass beat. You snuck over her crib late night to see her brother while her mom was fast asleep. He wanted to fuck, started taking off your clothes, expecting to see titties pussing his ass cheek. But when you pulled down your drawers, this nigga bitch flashed me. You almost got your life took, Captain Hook. Now you realize fucking with niggas ain't a good look. So you a lesbian. But instead of bagging bitches with swag like Quay Star, you a chubby chase so you fuck
that'll still fuck niggas and coochie for the South Pole gins and the ice cream. <laughs> nah. You want to type a hole that'll eat pussy, living on shrooms, ex bits with night will, but bitch, I know your type and you couldn't afford to turn me on like a $50 light bill. Her name is Couture, but she don't look like she came off the road. Bitch, you got a black history face. You look like you came off the Underground Railroad. <laughs> and you too ugly for this. I'd rather just hit you once with the elbow, but now you perfect for the fist. I'll just snatch off those edges like my fist was in a velcro. But wait, don't this bitch look like Binti and Kevin Garnett? <laughs> but you top tier what? I know this niggas ain't respond yet. You wouldn't scare me if you called my house personally and made a bomb threat. So tell them niggas you riding with the knuckle up a buckle up, cause I never let my arm rest. <laughs> this bitch look tired. No tired, but when she smiles, it's like white balls. Cause when arms are ball, it's like armor all. One spray will get you wiped off. But you keep battling pretty things. What, man? You trying to get the confidence? Which has no common sense, cause you still ugly as fuck, so either way it ain't a compliment. And that's true. <laughs>
on the track. But I don't know what type of soft bitch he taking me for. Hot arm for the real bitch, suck blow steam and straight the tour. And I dare you to pull a prop out, niggas to pop out with the black out, shake the tour, lay break the tour, suck your face on the floor so you ain't shaking no more. How should I start? Should I slay this bitch like cattle? I already proved my bonds are tighter than this hustle shorts in that old red battle. <laughs> so do I gotta jump around, scream and fucking shout? Nah, I got it. I'ma holla at y'all and put this bitch on timeout. You just stand here looking a hot fucking mess. Before I get back to whipping your ass, there's some shit I must address. Now, to set my first battle, I've been fucking ruthless. So now I got a ghost rider? Bitches is fucking stupid. <laughs> All I did was watch my footage, critique it, improved it, stepped up my bars, stepped up my delivery, cause I'll be damned if y'all ever witness a bitch killing me. July 20th, I murked that bitch so mean. It was the best barring session queen of the ring ever seen. I spazzed out with ease, got up in her anus. All my down lady shit, I made that bitch famous. <laughs> One million views on worm style in a week. Now if we being rational, it's safe to say I made you bitches international. So what the fuck are y'all not understanding? Off a sparring session, I dropped slogan tees and started branding. But I get it. Everybody's hating on the new bitch. Instead of wasting your energy, trying to break down my bars to discredit me, pay attention, because I can show you how to do this. Now, Star Smile said, us sparring session bitches need to show some respect. Well, I say fuck you, cunt. Why would I respect the bitch who've been trying to do for years what I did in four months? Now, I'm a humble bitch. I'm a humble bitch. But I'm not being cocky. I'm just being honest. Numbers don't lie. So you tell me who should be paying who homage. And now that I gave, and now that I gave the hating bitches some more shit to whine about, let's go, big dick. You off time out. <laughs>
Niggas been telling me I better kill you. Two weeks prior, I'm writing new rocks. But what good is her having balls when a bitch like me grew up around moonshine? Oh fucking K, shout out to base. I guess I gotta re up cause it's dorm time. Somebody tell my capital I'm getting booked for capital. Cause I'm putting one in the middle, thanks to them two knots. Now some of y'all help pay the way. So respect is due to the ones worth giving credit to. But then there's those that talk so disrespectful about sponsors for girls that need to get knocked the fuck off the pedestal. Mm -hmm. Sponsors says this ain't a bad thing, Let it's just know. getting you prepared for them hits. And some of y'all vets are the main reason a sparring session fucking exists. <laughs> now last battle I heard I sound like Farrah. What, cause I'm angry, always aggressive? Would I be Shane to Ashley if I was more calm, cool, and collective? Around my matrimony, smooth and settled, killing big names, but least expected? And Miss Hustle, rolling everybody she battled in the bundle like it was money she was collecting. Why do I keep getting these big head bitches? So, I'm about to teach you a lesson. You see, the last bitch I battled was cocky and woe. That cocky ass got sent back to the sparring session. Now I'm exposed to about three different things. So I'm gonna need you to keep it real and tell the truth. Cause you gotta have props in order to get props. And I'm going in my pocket in case I need a proof. I have no fucking respect for you because you disrespected an innocent baby. So for that reason, I'ma talk about your cock-eyed daughter. What a catch you ass Dumbass made a contract. 
right? Sent it to my cousin trying to book the tourist show in the A. Right on the spot, he started cracking, giving info. And my cousin said, slow down, bro, chill. You fucked up when you picked up. I'm a hit man. Not only did you talk for money, but you just got that bitch killed. The moral of the story, money fucks with loyalty. I offered him 1500 and he was ready to snitch. That's why you've been stalking and harassing me on Twitter. You got a guilty cunt. I knew you were the bitch. <laughs> so tell him, Jada Ray 85, now you'll both be sleeping with the dog. That one phone call killed two careers. She ever, you Chad Johnson. Yeah!